beautiful. We are having a mild January, but you still might be dreaming about an exotic destination, right? So the 2017 Travel and Adventure Show is happening right now at the Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont. So joining us this morning is travel expert Pauline Fromer with a look at the top travel trends for 2017. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Well, it is a pleasure. We Thank appreciate you. you being here. So first and foremost, and this is interesting, you say book internationally because airfares and foreign currency are in a, at a good spot right now. It's a golden age for international travel because there are all of these new carriers entering the market and depressing prices. They have names like Norwegian Airlines, XL, Wow Airlines. From New York City, you can go one way to London for $96. That's so incredible. That makes it worth going to Chicago, from Chicago yeah. to New York and doing it. And then once you get there, the euro is almost at par with the dollar. Right across the border in Canada, the Canadian loony is at a dollar thirty. Hmm. So everything in Canada is thirty percent off. Japan is down. Mexico is down. There wow. pretty much isn't any world world currency that isn't being whooped sure. by the dollar. So let's talk about airfares for a second because you say they're getting more complicated. What does that mean? All of the airlines are putting millions into their back end system so they can charge you for every little thing. Hmm. If you fly British Airways nowadays, you're going to be charged for hot water. There's something called basic economy fares that United American and Delta are doing. You get nothing with this except a slightly lower uh, price on your ticket. Okay. You never ever get to pick your seat. You're going to be in the middle seat. If you cancel, you lose the cost of the ticket. You wow. cannot make a change. And on United, you're not allowed to use the overhead bin. Oh my at goodness. All. I don't know how they're going to police yeah, it. It's yeah. going to get ugly. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Also, you say people who are part of a loyalty program will see some changes. Well, last year loyalty went from being based on how many miles you flew to how much you pay. Mm -hmm. It's going to get even more more so this year. American Airlines, you know when they do the upgrades, you sign up and you're on a list. Sure. They look at your status. Soon they're going to look at how much you paid to get that status. Oh. And that's going to factor into the list too. I think oh. it's going to be tense times at the airport. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Also on trend this year, you say alternate accommodations like Airbnb are becoming more professionalized. That makes yes. me nervous. <laughs> well, 40% of Airbnb hosts do this for a living nowadays. Days. Wow. And so they're trying to make their accommodations more professional. Home away, Airbnb, they're all having seminars for their hosts. So they're going to be less quirky. You're not going to be sure. staying in a yurt in someone's backyard anymore. Huh. I hope it doesn't mean prices are rising. I don't think so, but we'll see. And then you also say good news for the traveler who enjoys cruises. Many are offering longer port stays. Yes. Huh. Executives have listened to cruisers who say, we don't want to get into a port at nine and leave by two, that means we can't see anything. Mm -hmm. So they're adding a lot of time in port and some overnights. I want to go back to the Airbnb thing for a second here because mm -hmm. I have to imagine that at some point this starts to affect hotels bottom line. Hotels are having to charge less than they used to, especially for big event times, for high periods, because they know people are going to Airbnbs and they cannot guarantee that they're going to be able to fill all rooms. So all prices are going down for lodgings. It's good. Wow. All good information. Palm Pauline Fromer, thank you so much for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. And this reminder, today is the last day of the Travel and Adventure Show. You can check it out at the Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont from 11 to 4. Tickets are 15 bucks. Children 16 and under are free. And